Have you ever walked into a room and immediately felt someone's commanding presence, even without them uttering a single word? This, my friends, is the dance of dominance, a fascinating silent performance that unfolds in our daily lives. It's a subtle art, not just reserved for the alpha types, but for anyone who desires to influence, to lead, and to inspire. Dominance doesn't always have to involve loud voices and big gestures. In fact, it's often the quiet, understated displays of power that speak volumes. This intricate dance is woven into the fabric of our interactions, shaping our relationships and determining the dynamics of leadership. The key to this dance? It's all about nonverbal communication. From a firm, steady gaze to a confident stance, these silent signals can radiate authority and command respect. So let's delve into the world of nonverbal dominance. Let's uncover its secrets and learn its moves. Understanding the nuances of nonverbal dominance can be the key to becoming a more effective leader. One might wonder, what drives this silent dominance? Let's delve into the psychology behind it. Dominance at its core is a psychological dance of power, control, and influence. It's an invisible force that can shape interactions, relationships, and even entire societies. It's not about brute strength or loud voices, but about the subtle signals we send and the unspoken messages we convey. The first concept to understand is power. Power, in psychological terms, is the potential to influence others. It doesn't always come from a position of authority. In fact, some of the most powerful individuals are those who can shape thoughts, behaviors, and decisions without ever raising their voice. Next, we have control. Control is the ability to navigate situations and outcomes to one's advantage. It's about understanding the dynamics at play and using them to steer the course. Control isn't about restricting others, but about guiding situations in a way that benefits all involved. Finally, there's influence. Influence is the capacity to affect change without using force. It's about persuasion, not coercion. It's about inspiring others to see things from your perspective and to align with your goals. Now, how do these three elements, power, control, and influence, play out in silent dominance? It all comes down to nonverbal communication body language, facial expressions, and postures are the silent narrators of our stories of dominance. A simple shift in posture can convey confidence and command. A subtle facial expression can communicate determination and resolve. And body language, well, it can speak volumes without uttering a single word. It's the unspoken language of dominance, a language that is as powerful as it is silent. But as we navigate the complex dynamics of dominance, it's crucial to remember one thing. Dominance is not about intimidation. It's not about making others feel small or insignificant. Instead, dominance is about communication and control. It's about understanding the subtleties of human interaction and using them to steer the course in a way that benefits everyone involved. Remember, dominance is not about intimidation, but about communication and control. How do leaders show dominance without uttering a single word? The answer lies in their body language. Unveiling the secret world of nonverbal communication, let's delve into the specifics of dominant body language. When we think about dominance, we often picture a lion, the king of the jungle, standing tall, surveying his territory with unflinching eyes. Similarly, in human interactions, standing tall, maintaining eye contact, and taking up space are key elements of dominant body language. Firstly, let's focus on standing tall. When someone stands tall, they are not just physically taking up space. They're also conveying a sense of confidence and authority. By simply pushing your shoulders back and keeping your head held high, you can project an image of self-assured dominance. Next up, we have eye contact. The eyes often referred to as the windows to the soul can convey a multitude of emotions. In the context of dominance, maintaining steady eye contact communicates that you are unafraid, assured, and in control. But remember, there's a fine line between assertive eye contact and an intimidating stare. It's all about balance. Lastly, let's discuss taking up space. This doesn't mean sprawling out as far as you can reach, but rather, it's about not shrinking yourself to fit into smaller spaces. By comfortably occupying the space around you, you're communicating that you are comfortable in your own skin and are not afraid to claim your territory. These nonverbal cues, when combined, create a powerful image of dominance. They communicate a sense of authority and instill confidence not just in the person displaying these cues, but also in those who perceive them. However, it's important to remember that dominance is not about overpowering others, but
but rather about projecting self-assured confidence and leadership. Mastering these nonverbal cues can help you project dominance and leadership. Now, let's explore how dominance plays out in social settings. In social gatherings, dominance is not about overpowering others with loud, forceful words. It's about subtly guiding interactions, steering conversations, and influencing outcomes. It's the art of being in control without having to assert it explicitly. Consider a professional meeting. The leader doesn't necessarily have to be the loudest or the most talkative. Instead, they command the room with their presence. They use nonverbal cues, a firm handshake, a steady gaze, a confident posture to maintain control. Even when they're not speaking, they're communicating. They're sending a clear message. I am in charge here. But it's not just about asserting authority. It's also about fostering respect and cooperation. The leader listens attentively when others speak, showing them that their opinions are valued. They ask thoughtful questions, encouraging others to share their ideas. They make sure everyone feels heard and included. In doing so, they create a positive, collaborative atmosphere where everyone feels motivated to contribute. Now, let's look at a casual gathering. Here too, dominance plays a crucial role. The person who is dominant sets the tone for the entire event. They decide where to go, what to do, and who to invite. They take the lead in conversations, sharing stories and jokes that get everyone laughing. They make sure everyone is having a good time, creating a fun, relaxed atmosphere where everyone feels welcome. But again, it's not about being bossy or overbearing. It's about being a good host, making sure everyone feels comfortable and engaged. The dominant person listens to others, takes their preferences into account, and makes adjustments as needed. They're not just in control. They're also considerate and accommodating. So, whether it's a professional meeting or a casual gathering, dominance is about more than just taking control. It's about guiding interactions in a way that benefits everyone involved. It's about creating a positive, productive atmosphere where everyone feels valued and included. And most importantly, it's about influencing outcomes, steering conversations towards productive ends, and making sure everyone leaves the event feeling satisfied and accomplished. In social settings, dominance is about guiding interactions and influencing outcomes. Dominance without words is a powerful tool. Let's summarize why. It's about more than just asserting yourself. It's about embodying confidence in a way that's palpable, shaping the energy of the room without uttering a single word. In this dance of dominance, we've explored your body language speaks volumes, a confident stance, a steady gaze, a firm handshake. These are the silent signals that say, I am in control. They subtly convey your strength and command respect from those around you. In the realm of social interaction, silent dominance is like a conductor leading an orchestra. You may not say much, but your presence orchestrates the rhythm of conversation guiding the flow of interaction. It's not about overpowering others, but about influencing outcomes in a subtle yet impactful way. So as we wrap up, remember this, true dominance comes from within. It's not about what you say, but how you carry yourself.